Wow, what is that? Maybe like a field of flowers or something? Oh, lavender, it even says right there. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, it's a mystery, we'll never know. <laughs> hey everyone and welcome, I am Sailor Drew. Let's hang out and play some Dwarf or Magic. So this game literally just came out today on Early Access. I saw the tweet from the devs and I was like, oh, this looks up my alley. Let me go ahead and check it out, watch the trailers. And the trailers were so well done and so soothing and everything. I was like, okay, I need this game. It's on sale right now. So that always incentivizes myself more so than not to try a game out if it's on sale. But this is kind of like a strategy game where um, we'll be building like towns and cities and fulfilling quests. So classic mode. In classic mode, you play until you run out of tiles. Fulfill quests, beat your high score, and unlock special tiles as a reward. So uh, I did go ahead and do the tutorial really quick so that way I could kind of understand what was going on. And the little speech bubbles are the quests. So it wants us to connect three additional tiles that have the railroad tracks on them. And because it's such a specific tile, it's not going to let me place anything here or here unless it has a connector on it with the, uh, with the railroad systems. We also have a little bit of a preview of our next three tiles over here. So obviously the tile on top is the one that we're going to be trying to find a home for. Oh, look at that. And like, it like, seamlessly like puts it, the edges together. I love that. So maybe let's put the water down here. So that way maybe it won't run into our little railway system that we're trying to build. Okay. All right. And a river. So these two have quests. So if I get one more water tile, maybe it'll fulfill both of them. Okay, this one's got a little bit of a con uh, like a three-way connector as well as some housing on it. So maybe let's do it like that. So we can rotate the map to kind of take a look. Oh, see, like the little the little uh, smoke coming out of the chimney. <laughs> um, but yeah, the devs say that the game is stable and it has most of the features that the final game will have so they you know they were like okay let's go ahead and do early access uh let's see here yeah let's connect those like little fields together okay and this is the tile that i unlocked in the tutorial the windmill um and you can tell if something's connected or not because sometimes like they'll be so close to one another that you think that they'll connect but you'll know if they like light up so let's go ahead and do that and then ooh, okay yeah let's do it that way because then it'll also connect the forest just in case we need oh yeah see look We've got a forest quest tile. So let's do it that way. And the quests aren't like the number of tiles you'd need to get connect, it's the quantity. So there we go. Cause I was kind of thinking that it was like the number of tiles in the beginning, but no, it's, yeah, it's actually like how many trees are on a tile. Like it'll count that out and everything. So, um, okay. Yeah. Let's do it that way. Yeah. And you just kind of don't want to build yourself into like a corner with a lot of these tiles. So like, you're not really sure like when you'll need to connect them to something else. Do that. Oh, look, yeah, seven houses. So, let's do that. All right, river. Okay, um, 
So I could, hmm. Okay, yeah, I guess let's just do that, kind of have it loop around. Maybe I'll be able to make like a little island or something. <laughs> uh, all right, houses. So this one also has a quest on it. And I can't put it here because then it'll cut off these tile edges. Um, hmm. Gosh. So maybe I'll put it right there. Because I didn't necessarily want to put it there because I didn't know if I was going to be able to find a tile that would connect both sides and have a third side to start branching out some more. Um, all right, so let's see. Just put that there, okay. So this one would probably be good over here because it's got some houses on either side. Hmm. It's gonna be like a big winding <laughs> thing of field. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so even though this has like a, a train track, it won't let me place it here because it'll be a dead end. And plus now we have like a little river piece to consider. So it's pretty smart in letting you know where you can place things. Um, so the question is where to place this one. Maybe right there. Maybe I'll be able to make this kind of a closed circuit as well. Hmm, 22 trees, huh? Yeah, I'm thinking that maybe uh, right here is a good place for that. Another field. Okay, houses. Okay, fulfilled that quest. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Connect those. And I wonder if the quests are going to get like gargantuan the further along we get to where it'll benefit us to have like really long winding connecting pieces. So maybe stretching things out would be a good idea. Oh yeah, see, I, I wonder why it's saying that if I place it here, it will make it impossible for the the five quest to be done. Um, so I guess we'll put this up here or something. Start another railway system or something over there. Um, or maybe I can connect it eventually, who knows. So I'm not really sure like how far I'll be able to get. I mean, so far we've been able to finish a lot of the quests, so. Uh... Wow, so this whole thing is like all houses. Hmm, kind of like the hub <clears throat> of our little uh, town up there or something. All right, uh, so now it wants seven more houses. Hmm. But yeah, if you want to see more of this game, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you want to see me do live streams of this like I think that this might be like a really fun chill game to hang out and play together um 
so I'm curious to see what y'all say. Uh, okay. So now I need four more pieces of rail over there. Um, let me put that there. It's so funny because, like, I'm kind of making, like, these, like, snaking, like, long strings of tiles. Uh, like, right here. Let's see. Actually, can we do connect both of these together? We can. We have done. Ooh, six, huh? Um. Okay, let's put that there. Another field. we need to connect it to something else. Yeah, the sounds for this game and the music and everything, it's so nice. Like, I was kind of thinking about that. Like, sound design and music is so important for games. Like, you can really make or break a game, I feel like, sometimes. Where if you're playing something and the sounds are just like really grating or don't really fit, it can really bring you out of the game. Hmm. As well as, you know, maybe make a game like to where it's completely unplayable um, because I kind of experienced that with like, uh, what is it? The Yoshi game, like the newest one, where it's kind of like arts and craftsy looking. I can't really remember what it's called, but I downloaded the uh, the demo for it. Can I connect these? Oh, biome unlocked. Wow, what is that? Maybe like a field of flowers or something. Oh, lavender. It even says it right there. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, it's a mystery. We'll never know. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and claim that. It was kind of washed out on my screen, to, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> it might just be like um, the settings on my monitor, I don't know, but. Uh, yeah, the Yoshi game, like I could not play it because the uh, kind of like penny whistle music gave me such a raging headache. Like it hurt my ears so bad. Um, so I'm always super pleased with a game, like, right out the gate, if it has, like, a really lovely soundtrack and, um, uh, like, sounds and, like, Foley work. I don't know, is it still called Foley work if it's, like, in a game? Because I know that's what they call it for, like, movies and stuff. Uh, oh, yes, finally. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it all did, like, a little bit of a happy, happy dance. Um, but yeah, like, Stardew Valley and Greece are two games that I can think of, like, off the top of my head that have, like, amazing soundtracks. And, uh, so anytime I find a game that, like, it sounds amazing, like, I'm like, yes! Like, it makes me so happy. And I don't know if it's, like, a, like, a sound, like, a noise sensitivity thing to where, like, I'm more conscientious of that than I think other people are, or what? Uh, let's see here. See, I would kind of like be able to, I would like to be able to connect these. Like, see, this one kind of makes me nervous because I'm like, maybe this is too sharp of an angle to connect. Like, I don't know, we'll find out later, but. Um, yeah, maybe I can like kind of snake it around. Oh, look at this. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. Oh, another lake tile. Let's put that there. Yeah, because I'd like to have kind of like a biggish lake over here. That'd be nice. Uh, maybe some trees along the river. There's also apparently some sort of, oh, yeah, look at that. Boom. Uh, there's also some sort of like grading system that uh, depends on like how well you place the tiles together that it will 
give you points. Well, wow. that's a lot of trees, but at once. Okay, let's like, yeah, turn it a little bit outwards so that way we can connect more trees. Maybe start doing another little housing district down there. Yeah, I can definitely see this being like a huge time sink of a game because it's just so soothing. <laughs> uh, and it's not high stakes or anything like that. Like, yes, you could eventually run out of tiles, but it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel extremely urgent that you need to like, I don't know, beat the system or whatever. So like maybe that's a little bit of a, like a false sense of security or something like, like you need to remind yourself that you actually like have to, comp you know, like have to not run out of tiles. So, um, let's see. So if I put this here, it'll actually like cut off this side because the two pieces of trees on this tile, like the two ends aren't connected. Hmm. And I definitely don't want to like really cut anything off if I can avoid it. Hmm. So I guess I'll put that there. Um, all right, railway. Oh, this one's going to be like super zigzaggy. Uh, oh, look at that. It's an end. Oh. Okay, yeah, <laughs> because I can't put it over there. Um, that's interesting. I mean, I guess I don't have to put it here, but if I get another tile that has another railway system... That'd be kind of a bummer <laughs> to cut all of these tiles off. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Uh, all right, let's see. Put that there. Oh, another housing one, huh? Okay, trees. Hmm. Okay, oh, this one's kind of like a housing hub tile. So let's put that there. Um... Oh, look at this. I can connect the houses, too. Okay. Hmm. See, so you'd be so cute, like, right there. Sometimes you gotta make decisions that might not be the best logistically. Oh, why? Oh, because it's got a, a river, too. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's put that there and then just hope that we can get like a little bit of an elbow to connect that later on. Be nice to get a tile that has more trees. To connect besides like these tiny like little, see this one only has four trees on it so I don't necessarily wanna put it over there. So let's put that there. Ooh, look at this one. Hmm. 
This one's great because then I can kind of branch off in like several areas. Okay, put that there. Oh my gosh, 27 OC. Now's my time to shine. <laughs> With my giant like winding snake of wheat fields. Okay, um, oh wow, eight, huh? See, ah! Uh! <laughs> I shouldn't have closed it off. This one has a field as well as trees. So let's put that there. Hopefully we can connect the forest tiles together. See, it's kind of like acting like it wants to be connected. Um, So close to being connected. So close. So I'll put that there. Ooh, there we go. This was the extra pond tile that I wanted. Hmm. Oh, see, I wonder why it would cancel out that one if I put it if I put it there. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's put it there because I wanted, like, kind of a biggish lake. Um, alright. So this one's gonna be. Again, interesting. Because it's got a bit of river on it. <laughs> I mean, hopefully I'll be able to connect these at some point. Um, let's see here. We've kind of been neglecting this little area, haven't we? Hmm. There we go. Oh, perfect, it says. Okay. See, I don't get why it cancels some out. Oh my gosh, it wants how many trees? Oh, look at that. It goes from 270 to 29. <laughs> like so many trees, I love it. Hmm. I love like the little horses neighing and everything. Gosh, I love this game already. I'm just like, oh gosh. So soothing. just grass. Let's go ahead and do that. And then our, our little lake will be complete. Um, this would be a terrible idea, probably. Because it kind of just... Uh, see, look. Even though you would think that these are connected or be able to be connected, they're not. Like, So you really have to kind of slow down and pay attention. Which isn't my like greatest forte. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. But it's something to be aware of for sure. So let's do that way. Ooh, wow. Okay, so this tiny little tile of trees, of four trees, wants us to connect 347 trees. <laughs> I'm like, all right, if you say so. Uh... Ooh, this is tricky. Because I think I'm only really going to be able to place it here. Unless I can connect these two somehow. Yeah, that's what I'll try to do. 
Oh, look at that. Boom. Okay. So definitely partially strategy, but also we're going for a look. <laughs> Okay, so this one has got to go there. Still trying to complete this quest over here. Hmm. See, if I do it like that, it looks better. Yeah, let's do it like that. Yay, more trees. Okay, let's turn it outwards so that way I can connect more trees as I go along. Oh, look, and this will connect the houses as well as connect the trees. Um, but I don't really want to cut this off just in case. Maybe we'll just put that there. Um, oh, look at the birds. <laughs> uh, okay, ooh, finally. No, why? Why? I don't get why it does that. Hmm, because they did not explain that in the tutorial. Hmm, okay. So I guess we'll just keep on going off into the great beyond with our river. Um, all right, so we got one lonely little house. So, hmm. Let's put it there, I guess. Gosh, we still need 42 trees. Hmm. Okay, so if I put that there, I'll be able to kind of keep the tree line going. Right. Um, another piece of river. So, <laughs> I wonder if I could just like do like a little circle. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, it might defeat the purpose, but it would actually kind of be funny looking. So I kind of want to do it. Oh, look, we've got another end piece it tem it's tempting it's like yes you should connect and end your train tracks <laughs> I'm like but I don't want to because uh, I might need all those train tracks to connect to something I also don't want to put this house here because it will cut off all of these houses yeah because even though this is like oh yeah well obviously can't um turn that yeah and i might need I, I might need all of those houses oh actually it won't cut it off will it yeah because it there's two sides um Yeah, I don't... Mm, I don't know what to do with this tile. Like, because it's the end piece. So maybe I'll put it over here, and then I'll try and wrap it around eventually. Um, alright. Hmm... this here so I guess um I can't connect these trees it looks like maybe hmm hmm okay um Let's see. Yeah, it's um 
yeah, those trees are like cut off. So I can't really connect, I can't connect this way, unfortunately. Uh, but let's put that there, because it looks nice together. Maybe I'll be able to connect those tiles of trees. Oh, wow, like an X piece, huh? Um, yeah, okay, let's put that there. Another field. And another river piece. Hmm. So are we not done over here? We're not. Okay. Ooh, seven, huh? See, this is why. What the heck? Maybe it cancels them if... I don't know. If you already have too many pieces together or something, like, I have no idea. So I guess we'll put it there. Um, ooh, this has a lot of trees on it. It'll kind of open up a lot of different um, directions. Ooh, okay. So this is 36. See? Why? Hmm. I'll have to try and figure that out. Yeah, the tutorial didn't explain, like, why it would do something like that. Um, so... This one has kind of, like, that little triangle in the corner. And what it's going to want us to do is... Surround it. Like, after we satisfy this, it's going to want us, like, to close off like all the edges or something like that. Like it, um, cause it's kind of like a, it, it kicks off like a secondary quest. And in the tutorial, that's what that was. So I'm not saying that that's a, like a guarantee of what's gonna, it's gonna want from us again, but there's a chance that that's what it's gonna want. Hmm. All right, and... Let's see here. So let's put that there. Gosh, we only need three more trees. <laughs> okay. Um, that there. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I don't know why it. Um... I mean, obviously, like I, I get the ones where if you place it down, it'll cut off the edges so that way you actually can't complete the quest. Like no matter what you do, uh, what you try. But the ones where you connect them to something already existing. Like, I kind of wonder why it's like, nope, this quest is now canceled. <laughs> I'm like, I don't get it. Uh, okay. Ooh, this one has a lot of houses on it. Huh. Probably do me more good over there. Because it'll open up uh, a lot of additional... directions to place houses um hmm. see and I'm wondering if it does kind of not like you to sit there and try to connect like satisfy a quest by connecting like a large circuit that you've already done that if I should like close this off and stop connecting all these fields together um oh wow but see, these like to be next to one another. I don't know. I don't get it. Hmm. Okay, so let's put that over there. Yeah, let's put that there. So 13. See, it doesn't like it. It's like, nope. 
see what you're trying to do. You're trying to cheat. <laughs> like when I want you to do some hard work and planning. Dang. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, okay. So. Maybe let's. Hmm. Like, can I squeeze 13 tiles of wheat in that direction? Maybe. So maybe let's do it that way. Okay. Okay, so we need like one more house for that one tile over there. Um, where did we put that other railroad track at? Over here. Oof. Yeah, that might not be a good idea. Um. Sure, why not? Okay. Someday I'll be able to connect those river, <laughs> river pieces. Uh. But don't run out of tiles first. Interesting. I mean, maybe. Oh, yeah, look at that. Hmm. Another railway pile. Look at this tile. This tile would uh, fit perfectly over here, right? Like, it's got a bunch of houses on it. It's got a wheat field. Let's put it here. All right. Someday, someday. <laughs> like all I want to do is connect these two now. Okay, put that out there. My my little uh, town. Uh, is becoming extremely spindly. Which isn't a bad thing. Uh, it's just how it, it's just how it's going. Alright. So let's put this here. Then maybe I'll be able to start connecting some fields. Gosh, I'm getting a lot of tiles with uh, rivers and train tracks, and I don't know how I feel about that. Why would that cancel? Hmm. I don't know. See it again. I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't, uh, why those tiles don't like these housing tiles. Um. Okay, let's just put it there. Oh, look, perfect. letting me complete it. I mean, uh, cause it doesn't like the tiles. Like, do I need like a tile with just like one house on it or something? Like, I don't know why they don't like these tiles that I'm trying to put down. Okay. Ooh. Um. Maybe 
give you there. stuff on it. Hmm. Okay. See? It has one house and it's like, yay, you did it. Like, I don't, so I don't know if I need to end. End these with like a very specific amount of houses or what? Um, so I guess I'll put that there, and then we'll just see what happens as we go along. Hmm. Can I connect these two? No, okay. Kind of look like I might have been able to swing it around or something. So I need to fulfill this quest first before I fulfill that one, it looks like. So I need to find a tile that has like one house on it to connect over there. Um, yep, okay. What's that river over here is gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be like the river of many branches. Oh yeah, running out of tiles. Like, I just need one good house tile. It seems like. I got one tile left. <laughs> oh, and it won't like do anything for me. Really. Because it's going to be overkill. So this tile's not happy. Um, and then same thing if I put it over here. But we might as well. <laughs> so 50-50 is our, our high score. So, not too shabby. Like, I, I'm satisfied with how a lot of things kind of turned out. Oh, I didn't even realize. I didn't finish this one over here. That could have saved me, probably, to get a little bit further. I was just so concentrating, like, over on this side of the map that, yeah, I completely forgot about the trees. Um, but, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Dwarf Romantic is the name of the game. I'll have links in the description down below um, for all my social media, Discord, stuff like that, of course, but also information about the game. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see more of this and I'll do like an episode here and there in between uh, my current series. So it won't be like something that I release like, you know, like two episodes a week, kind of like I'm doing with everything else. Um, it'll just be kind of maybe like once a week type of thing, but I'm curious to see what you guys thought of it, as well as if you'd like me to do like maybe a live stream of this once in a while so we could all like hang out and chill like we used to back, back in the day. Um, but that's it for this time, guys. Thanks for hanging out and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button as it always lets me know that you want to see more episodes from me. 
And until next time, take care.